How much illumination change is necessary before the object isn't the same object? Well, maybe illumination doesn't have anything to do with the object. Well, that's kind of awkward because then you don't get to see it. And how is it that we manage to infer the stability of an object across transformations of illumination? And the answer is, we don't know. And how is it that we're able to perceive objects at all? Because the other thing that became complicated, and you see this, if you ever use a program like Photoshop, you know, you can see objects in a photo in Photoshop, and the objects appear self-evident. They have boundaries and borders. But if you zoom in, you can't tell where the boundaries are. They fade into all the other images that are behind or ahead, and then you can highlight the colors and expand them. And, and so there's an endless number of things you can do with the single image of anything. Well, you think about what that means. Well, how in the world is perception possible then? And the answer is, we didn't know.